Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to discuss why hyperventilation precipitates tetany. I would advise you all to watch why hypocalcemia causes tetany because this will be like a continuation of the same Explain Why series. So, let's understand why hyperventilation in any individual is precipitating tetany in the individual who is already having tetany due to any reason. He might be having tetany due to any reason. But whenever the person hyperventilates, it increases the occurrence of tetany in those individuals. Now what happens in hyperventilation? Let's take for an example, suppose any person is hyperventilating like breathing in and out very fast like this. So what will happen is the CO2 washout increases. That is the amount of carbon dioxide thrown out will obviously increase. So what will it lead to? Because CO2 is an acid. Now acid is thrown out, so what it will happen is, it will cause respiratory alkalosis. It will lead to respiratory alkalosis. Whenever there is an alkalosis, what happens to the pH of the blood? The pH of the blood increases and the H plus levels falls. Now before discussing further, let's try to understand what is the relationship between H plus and calcium ions. So both of them has the ability to bind to albumin or any plasma proteins. Let's take first an example of acidemia. Acidemia means there is an excessive availability of H plus ions. More and more H plus ions are present. This excessive H plus, what they can do is they can competitively go and bind to albumin or any plasma protein by competing with the calcium ions. So the calcium ions that is getting bound in acidemia is very very low. So let's take this as an example of albumin. So what is happening to this calcium? There is less of bound form and more of free form. Free form increases. So it will lead to what? It will lead to hypercalcemia. But here we are having a condition of respiratory alkalosis, not acidosis. So let's take, let's see what happens in case of alkalosis. Now the availability of H plus is very low. So instead of H plus, who will come and bind with the albumin? Yes. Now more and more calcium can bind with the albumin or any plasma protein. Only, only less of H plus will be bound to the plasma protein. So this leads to what? Yeah, exactly. The free form of or the ionized form of calcium is getting decreased a lot. So what is this called as? It is called as hypocalcemia. In our previous explain why series, we have seen that hypocalcemia increases the excitability of the tissue causing tetany. So hyperventilation indirectly reduces the free calcium levels leading on to precipitation of tetany. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening. We will meet in the next video. Thank you.